having understood how to how to use or how to be effective in the management of uh, working capital uh, and the ratios that we can uh, that can help us in finding out as to uh, whether uh, our working capital management is effective or not effective let us now come to the sixth uh, uh, position uh, in the financial statement analysis or the sixth aspect sixth important aspect of any business uh, in doing the financial statement analysis and that is uh, capital structure or financial leverage or financial risk analysis so doesn't really matter uh, whether you refer it as capital capital structure analysis or you refer it as financial leverage analysis or you refer it as financial risk analysis remember they all mean the same thing they all mean the same thing so now the question is uh, uh, how to find out uh, the capital structure or how to find out the financial leverage of a business or how to find out financial risk of a business so uh, for measuring a uh, financial a risk of any business uh, there are two things that we need to do number one we need to calculate the EBITDA and number two we need to calculate the financial leverage how do we calculate the EBITDA uh, we all are aware as to how do we calculate the EBITDA and uh, EBITDA how do we calculate very quickly let me also mention so we take the figure of sales from the figure of sales we minus the figure of COGS and COGS is cost of goods sold which is nothing but total of material cost and the manufacturing expenses. So when we do this, what we get in our hand is known as gross profit. From the gross profit, what we do, we minus the SGNA, selling general and administrative expenses. And what we get here in the bottom is known as EBITDA. EBITDA is earning before interest, tax, de tax, de tax depreciation and amortization. So this is what is EBITDA. EBITDA is also known as cash operating profit. EBITDA is also known as cash operating profit. Now, if we have to measure financial risk of any business, uh, what we need to do, first we need to find out the EBITDA of the business and number two, we need to find out the financial leverage. So this is how we will find out the uh, EBITDA of a business and why we need to find out the EBITDA of a business and that is because uh, when we borrow, uh, when we take a loan, we get cash, no doubt about it. But together with cash, we also get two more obligations. And those two obligations are number one, uh, obligation to service the debt. And number two, obligation to repay the debt, debt back to the lender. So, this means that if we have to pay interest, and if we have to pay a loan, then we should have cash. So, where will cash come from? It will come from our cash by way of EBITDA. And that is what we need to do. Second thing what we need to do is to calculate the financial leverage. What is financial leverage? Financial leverage ka matlab hai ki humne business mein kitna borrow kiya hua hai. Or in other, in other words you can say financial, financial leverage ka matlab hai ki humare business ki jo assets hai. To what extent those assets are funded by borrowed capital and that is your financial leverage. To agar ek company ke paas mein debt bilkul bhi nahi hai. Iska matlab that company has not leveraged at all. And that is how we would understand it. Now, how to calculate the financial leverage? How, what are the indicators? What are the ratios for calculating the financial leverage? So number one, what we can do, we can calculate simple uh, debt and equity ratio. So what is debt and equity ratio? Long term debt divided by equity and that will give us the debt equity ratio. Number two, we can calculate the net debt equity ratio. Now this is how uh, many of the corporates will do. Instead of taking the debt as, as such, what they will do, they will take net debt. And what is net debt? Net debt is long term debt minus cash and cash, cash balance. And that is your net debt. And I'm sure you can understand why these companies take net debt rather than taking the uh, long term debt total. And that is because if a company has some cash or bank balance, it means that it is understood that if you have a loan, so much amount of debt, then you can never get a company. So effectively, if you have used the debt of the company, 
वो कितना है वो है अदर देन दी अमाउंट ऑफ कैश एंड बैंक बैलेंस एंड दैट इज द रीजन सम कंपनीज आल्सो कैलकुलेट दी डेट इक्विटी रेशियो एज नेट डेट डिवाइडेड बाय इक्विटी नंबर थ्री वी कैन कैलकुलेट दी फाइनेंशियल रिस्क ऑफ अ बिजनेस बाय कैलकुलेट कैलकुलेटिंग टोटल डेट टू इक्विटी रेशियो एंड दिस इन माय व्यू इज अ बेटर रिफ्लेक्टर एज फार एज दी द फाइनेंशियल रिस्क ऑफ अ बिजनेस इज कंसर्न और एज फार एज दी दी रिस्क ऑफ अ बिजनेस इज कंसर्न and why is is that so uh, that means what is total debt total debt would mean not only it will include the uh, long term debt but it will also include the short term debt so in case if the company has taken bank finance that will also be part of the uh, the total debt or in case if company has any taken any other short term loan so uh, for the purpose of calculating the financial leverage of the company you will calculate the total debt to equity ratio and that is where in the total debt you will include not only the long term loans that you may have taken but also the short term loan and this will give you a better perspective as far as the financial risk of the business is concerned and finally what you have you have the equity to assets ratio equity to assets ratio and how do we calculate equity to assets ratio we will calculate equity to assets ratio by dividing shareholders equity by the total assets and it tells what it tells what percentage of the total assets of a business are financed with the equity capital with the shareholders capital and obviously jitna ye ratio kam hoga utna company ki financial uh, risk jitna ye ratio uh, kam hoga uh, utni company ki financial risk zyada hogi aur jitna ye jo ratio hai equity to assets zyada hoga utna कंपनी की फाइनेंशियल रिस्क कम होगी अगर ये रेशियो ये इक्विटी टू एसेट्स रेशियो ज्यादा है इसका मतलब क्या है इसका मतलब ये है कि कंपनी ने अपनी एसेट्स को ज्यादा से ज्यादा इक्विटी के थ्रू फाइनेंस किया हुआ है और अगर ये रेशियो कम है इसका मतलब क्या होगा इसका मतलब ये होगा कि इस कंपनी ने अपनी एसेट्स को ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोन फंड से फंड किया हुआ है फाइनेंस किया हुआ है एंड दैट विल इंक्रीज द फाइनेंशियल रिस्क ऑफ द बिजनेस and that is how we will look at the financial risk leverage or financial risk analysis number 7 we look at the valuation ratios uh, 